that we need to change the architecture, have a law that is clear-cut in, in terms of who is going to execute and how you know um, uh, citizen groups and other entities can be involved in this process. There's no, they don't have the political will. That's more than evident. Mm -hmm. um, if they did, I mean, even between the electoral uh, commission that's supposed to be requiring annual audited reports, it's not happening. Um, and so we need to rethink that whole architecture and well defined by law. So we don't have a situation where three, four years they are campaigning, because that's what they're doing, running around the country, expending resources, driving in V8 and, and you know, making a bill for us. And then let's cut it down. Let's say six months of the election year or nine months of the election year. So we're right. getting to 2024 and then it's from June or it's from March. That's one. Then the issue of ceilings. So let's cut it and say uh, individuals no more than 5,000, corporates not more than 25,000 or whatever, so that then we can track. And then it, it compels you to have a message that people can buy into and therefore when they are funding, we know that, look, it is because we believe in your message, not because you've gone around um, trying to compel corporates and whatnot to give you money. Otherwise, your businesses will be shut down after they will enforce outside the political elite themselves. Otherwise, uh, we are not going to make any, any changes. And truly speaking, I think that the starting point would again would be the constitutional changes to tighten up some of these gaps that we have recognized in the lifespan of the current 1992 constitution. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and click the bell icon and get notified every time we share something interesting. We would love to have you on there.